is create claim. Okay. So this is a very simple claim. Let's change it to 10 by 10 at the center. Kill the grid. Now we've got a very simple claim. Save the claim, go to FDG, create description, make everything as a default, just OK. OK. Let's go to the displacement tab. Here uh, we've got a few options which are not very difficult to understand. One of the options is the displacement. It's very simple. It's the distance between this primitive and the other surface. So if we just um, change to one, as you can see, we'll get one um, unit separated between the object and the, the primitive and the surface and also you can make it something like that so that's the disp displacement also the offset is the same exactly as the displacement but um, it has but the bump effect has no effect on it okay and if you connected a vector map to the displacement you can use vector this vector for this placement, as you can see here, and also the effect will change. But usually, it is used for vector if you connect the vector map, you can use that. And for the bump map, if the surface has a bump, it's better to use the same bump map to connect it to this bump. Let me show you how to connect this, okay? For example, if this surface has a, has a bump map. Let's apply a bump map to the surface. If we go to Windows rendering hypersheet and let's create a boolean and select this and apply this boolean to it. And this boolean, if you double click on it, will get to the will go to the attribute in the bump map. Let's apply a simple 2D texture bump something like um, okay, something like cloth okay procedural a procedural texture map and here we go if we select this guy here um, if we go to the exchange which you can see yeah, there's no map whatsoever applied to it it's just slider so it's not possible to apply any texture map we have to change it to create a map first now doesn't matter you can change five or any any value now we have to replace this map with this cloth and it's very simple to do um okay it's very very simple to do to do so okay we just maximize this view and this one we have the cloth texture okay and if we just click on this file which is the file for the bump map and this and shift click in the cloth and just in show me input and output connection as you can see this file okay just this file um it has been connected to this plane surface and if you look at the connection it's connected to the connection 9 description 9 bump okay so we have to remove this connection and apply it instead this should we should apply this instead okay to do so um, just make a click, drag and drag and drop it, and just other. It's a little bit difficult to find it here. Um, it's this is this one, but if you couldn't find it, uh, just go to show connect only. You'll see this, and this is the this is what I want. So out alpha. Connect this to the connection nine bump. That will 
automatically this go like this so you can even copy this now this bump has been applied to the give it to the color balance now I can change the color of this bump and if we go here you can see the map here in the viewport and this map um, we go here and it's already been connected to the uh, to the exchange uh, bump value okay now if we change this a slight effect on it which I cannot see clearly but um, but if you want to be to bypass this effect and you just want some offset between the object and the um, surface you can just use that okay I'm giving you the same technique of uh, what we apply to connect this bump map to apply a displacement map first you have to create a map then uh, connect the, the vector displacement to the, the replacement with that map for example just create this this and you can replace it with that using the hyper shade okay very simple okay that's it for the displacement and for the cooling we look at the cooling um, the cooling is very simple it is uh, just some few options to let you hide or just temporarily hide uh, some of the primitives uh, for some efficiency okay for example if we just turn enable cooling on now we can uh, use this feature um, I believe the most used one is cool the select primitive you have to first select a few primitives then you can cool it I mean hide it I just select a primitive you have to click on this select primitive and choose the middle click drag and drop okay we select a few primitives here and usually I, I select this, uh, that, the, that bunch of primitives we selected and you can use cool select primitive okay so if we go back here, as you can see, these primitives were really cool. I mean, they were hide it. So it's very simple to hide a bunch of primitives. Just cool select it. Now, uh, if we just refresh it, as you can see, these were um, cool. If you want to see the uh, the the hidden primitives, you can just turn the this. They will be shown as red. And okay, also we can choose cool primitives on the back outside the preview. So if we just so, so as you can see, these will be outside the, the view. So if we just turn this guy on, refresh it now, if we just on it, disable it. For some reason it doesn't work, but it should work. Um, okay, this display code GMT is on, that's not the reason, but um, so if I just turn this off, as you can see they will disappear. As you can see more disappear. So that's it. For example, if I want to disappear one, two, three, four, maybe five, six, so seven. I just make them like that, just like that. So they all disappear, they all disappear, okay? Very simple to understand. Also, we can cool the primitives on the back side, which is also very simple. Um, if we have something like a sphere, so I have a back side. Okay, then if we create a new description, which is a very simple one and if i want to cool the, the first at the back side just enable cooling so the option will be available to us then uh, just cool on the back side as you can see all the points at the back side will be hidden 
when we see them just show code which you can see here and they will be cool on the back side so so each time you have to turn this option on or off to make it to update it and I think that's all for the cooling and also we have cool expression you can find expression to where you want to cool or to, to, to hide and where you want to to display so that's why you can create a map for that which is very simple but the most important option I believe is to okay how to uncool it um which is very simple just uncool it we have to first select the and select them for example here just uncool now as you can see uncool them and uncool them and then oh should be back pages off so they are all uncool okay you select this and co select it says to display it and it should display that it's red it means that it's been cool and if it is selected everything will be green but the cold one will be yellow which is uncool so everything will be green again for the there's no cooling whatsoever okay so simply the cooling means hiding um primitives temporarily just to um, just to uh, help you see the others um, clearly and you can at any time you can just for example uh, you can even hide one uh, one primitive at a time and control click to subtract from the selection and just cool select it and display it as you can see only this this one you can select these just and cool so just back so even display the cooling is on you have to refresh it so only one of them is being cool so that's it so that's about cooling and also we talked about display scans and cooling in this section